Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different to my usual style of videos. One of the reasons why it's going to be different is because you can probably already tell this is going to be a vlog style type of video. I enjoy watching these type of videos on YouTube, so I thought I might as well do it. It's a bit more interactive and you get to see other parts of my house, like my lounge. And it's a bit echoey because we've just got it done. We're not done, but we've changed furniture around and got rid of some furniture, so it's a bit we right now so I'm sorry about that yeah you get to see different parts of my house and it's not just my usual background setting but yeah so if you guys like this type of video smash the like button and leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this in this type of style and the second reason is because I'm actually going to be sitting down and telling you a story right okay so I'm sorry about the lighting I've just rested you on my dining room table so basically the story started at well started the story took place in august july time this year when i went to a uni day trip to greenwich university with my college now it was all good and everything on the coach up i was like to my teacher if we don't have like air conditioning i'm not, I'm not going and <laughs> i had a reason for it i get really claustrophobic and really hot and panicky really easily when i want to be so I literally said to her, I'm not going on the coach unless it has air conditioning. Sounds pathetic, I know. I'm really sorry about the different angles of the video now. I've just changed the camera to face down a little bit more. So then it's at my height more instead of me like going like this and everything. But yeah, so we went up to Greenwich for a uni day trip. And luckily on the coach there we had like aircon and everything. And it was a really nice coach. It was very nice. We got up there was fine it was a very hot day we knew it was going to be a really hot day and because london's the main city of the uk and it has those skyscraper buildings it traps in the heat within london so london is a little bit hotter than like where i live down in crawley so we knew it was going to be about 32 degrees outside so we were like okay right that's all right so obviously that's another reason why i wanted aircon because i was a bit like hold up i don't really want to be getting sweaty plus I want to be able to breathe because we're in a coach, doesn't have windows, the heat was coming in the whole time we were there, it was an hour and a half coach journey, so the bus did, the bus, the coach did get quite hot quite quickly and then he turned the aircon on and it was ridiculous and that was on the way up there at about half eight in the morning. So obviously it was a bit cooler than it was when we were coming back at half past four in the afternoon. So obviously we rounded up and the teachers did the little head count thing to see how many people were there and if we had the right amount of people to then leave. Because we had a time that we had to go back to them and meet them there to get back on the coach to get back to Crawley in time. And we got there and we started walking and our coach on the way up had a red stripe on the side. I remember this because I remember looking because I was like, they're going to mix up it. I have a feeling they're going to mix up what coaches we're going to be on and all that jazz. So yeah our coach had a red stripe on it the other coach has a blue stripe on it and on the way up my friend was on the other coach with the blue stripe and she was saying how it didn't have much air con it was working but it kept on breaking so it didn't really have much so we were walking and i was about to get on the red one and they go no 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 the second half of the register is on the blue one i was like but we were on the red one on the way up and then i started getting panicky because i remember what my friend said about the air con not being very well and all this we got on the coach i automatically sat down and i went mm, i have a bad feeling about this and so did my friend who i was sitting next to and we both started getting a bit panicky and obviously the teacher was like calm down calm down obviously this coach has been sitting in the scorching hot sun in london not under shelter or anything for a good five or six hours in the hot and it was first two degrees outside so all that heat was coming into the coach through the windows heating up the coach and it was like a sauna when we walked in like you could feel the difference and it was 32 degrees outside to come into a coach and it'd be hot and you felt like it was a sauna hitting you when you walk through a sauna if you guys know what i mean if you've ever been to a sauna you walk in and you could automatically feel the heat coming out your face that sounded very wrong oh my god that happened when we walked into the coach from the 32 degree weather outside, which was hot enough for me. I was like, I'm dying here. <laughs> Two minutes after we got on the coach, probably 
probably five minutes actually. It wasn't long at all. There was a stream of sweat coming down. A stream. Not even lying. I looked down on the aisle because I saw like some glimpses of the sun hitting it in the corner of my eye. So I looked down and I was like, what? There's a stream of sweat coming from the front of the coach down to the bottom. I then looked around and everyone was dripping. Not even exaggerating. I looked to my right and there was this guy wearing a light blue top. Wasn't light blue anymore. It was dark blue. He then got a call on his phone and he literally picked up and he had his hand to his ear because obviously he had his phone in his hand. And from the bottom of his arm, like the elbow, was drips just coming off of his elbow. And that's when I was like, hold up a second, why is everyone so sweaty and I'm not? So <laughs> I was uh, then curious. So I touched my leg and oh my God, you know that feeling of when you get out of a swimming pool and your legs are still wet from the swimming pool that you've been in? Yeah, it was like I've been sitting in the swimming pool for about five hours and then come out and my legs are wet like that, dripping with just wet from the swimming pool. But no, it was sweat, pure sweat, just sitting on my skin. I wasn't even wearing that much clothing. Like, let's be honest, it was summer. I was wearing a crop top with a black skirt, a pencil skirt that came quite short. I know, don't judge me. It came quite short and it's not like I was wearing much and I was sweating that much. So then we head off and obviously we didn't realise the bus driver had diabetes. So obviously we were driving, everyone was getting really hot and actually kind of no miss, we need to stop off. Everyone had already drunk all of their liquids for the day. So I'm talking like their water that they bring in their bags because I don't know about you, but I always bring water to school with me just in case I need a drink because you never know when you're gonna get dehydrated. But I brought that with me and I drank it all in about two minutes. And normally it lasts me the whole like five hour day that I have. The driver then can't find anywhere to pull over is the middle of London about rush hour time yeah we had nothing no no wind coming in because obviously it was a coach now no no windows except from the driver one which he opened because it was hot outside there was no wind coming in so it was technically just like the system of the wind coming in through the window when you're driving you know that feeling yeah the driver wasn't even feeling it he pulled over in a red route and obviously you're not allowed to stop in red routes, but we had to. And then the teachers wouldn't let us get off the coach because it was too dangerous. Uh, they wouldn't even allow us to open the door, like the slidey door. So there was no wind coming in and they wouldn't allow us to like have this door open to have the wind coming in. And we get off and I was in quite a bad way. I could feel myself starting to have a panic attack, so I wasn't the greatest. I man we managed to get down some stairs that were near us and we were sat by a wall that was kind of in the shade a bit and there was three girls who were in a much worse state than I was. They then had to get an ambulance called for them because they had something like a medical reason that they needed the ambulance and they were in a proper bad way. So obviously the ambulance came, sorted them out and then they came down to check if anyone else needed help while they were there. And just before they came down, I started having a panic attack. I just stopped having the panic attack. And then these paramedics came and they then were like, are you okay? They're talking to me. And I was like, oh. still get out of it because yeah, you know, I didn't really know where it was. Like it was kind of mental. I was just a bit like, what the hell, what's happened? I thought that, like, cause I was looking up, I was just looking at the blue sky and I was like, whoa, where is everyone? <laughs> And then obviously I just see my friend's head pop over and going, you yeah, right? I was like, oh, okay, I'm still in Earth, that's all right. And she's like, oh, I need to prick your finger. Bear in mind, I hate blood, I hate needles. It, it, no. So I was like, mm. she was like, it will help us to know how much oxygen you have in your blood. And I was like, okay, all right. So I get my finger out. <laughs> Me being still on planets, God knows whatever, I look. And obviously, I don't like needles and I don't like blood, so I don't know why I did this, but as you put a needle and I looked, then I saw the blood and I was like, Ugh! the worst, the worst mistake ever. 
I hate it. And then obviously she took my blood, then they took my blood pressure and then they uh, was checking my breathing, checking my heart rate, checking how I was. And then they had to fill, my, fill out a form and everything. And then about an hour and a half after the paramedics even left, we got back on the coach. And yeah, basically I didn't even say what happened to the coach and why we didn't have any aircon. I think I probably did actually, but the aircon was broken. It kept them breaking. Meaning that we had no air coming in at all. So this this driver obviously had um, diabetes as well. So we had to inject some insulin into him because he was getting very dehydrated and he was getting a bit panicky in himself. He then tried to fix the coach by trying to get the air con back on. He phoned up the manufacturer of the coach. They didn't know what to do. They were telling him something about there was a button in the bonnet. So he went in the bonnet, couldn't find the button, but then he found it eventually about an hour afterwards. And then we all got back on the coach. The aircon wasn't the best, but it was better than nothing. Yeah, we were all getting a bit cooler because obviously we were in the shade for ages, so everyone stopped sweating. Then we were all like, oh, can we stop off a little bit down the road after we get past all the traffic to get some drink? Because we were all a bit dehydrated. And they were like, yeah, that's fine. 30 minutes down the road, we get to a service station and the driver pulls up. And obviously I thought he was going to stay in, but he didn't because he needed some caffeine himself and some drink and hydration and something to eat for himself. So we all went in and then obviously I, I just assumed he was staying in there because I didn't notice at the time that he needed like all this caffeine and stuff. And then I come back out and I'm like, what the hell, the driver's not in there. Oh my God, he's over there eating. I was like, I have a bad feeling about this. I bet the aircon's not going to turn back on. Went back upstairs and whoa, what did they do? It broke again. So we got home and basically don't get on a coach in 32 degree weather without aircon because you will regret it and it probably will be the worst experience of your life because I know for me it definitely was the worst experience of my life and um never again never again so guys that's the end of this video if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos like this remember to hit the like button down below Comment any future video ideas you would like to see from me. I am open to anything. I have got a couple of video ideas that I'm going to do for next week and the week after. But after that, I will kind of need some video ideas because I'm running out of ideas. So leave your comments down below of what videos you'd like to see from me in the future. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen my face on your screen before, then remember to smash that big subscribe button down below. And also turn on the post notifications so then you get notified when I post a video. And thank you for watching this video and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!